All righty, here we go. All right, so I've rediscovered this old trail. I don't think it's really been a trail used trail for years. Um, just by the looks of its conditions. And uh, stuff in the way and all that. But you could see how it was a trail at one time. And uh, just doesn't really look like one anymore. Man. Got to a herd of spider webs there. Oh, that hurt. <laughs> that hurt. Go on. I don't want you on me. Man. Every time I think I'm getting the spider webs out of my face, they're in my face. So anyway, back to this trail, as I was saying, that doesn't look too bad either, but there's another trail out there. I mean, I don't, I don't see any kind of signage saying I can't go but it's just like a lost trail. <laughs> so. I thought that was kind of neat. It's like a lost trail out there. Alrighty, here we go. See, there's, <laughs> it's kind of hard, hard to negotiate it. You know, like that pod used to be there, probably. Probably another name for them. I just call them pods. I don't know. I may come back to this during the winter. Because that's all grown up. Maybe the fall or winter. Come back when it's this low and try to check out what's out there. But at least I got to show you it, you know. Maybe someone who's hiked this area can kind of give me an idea of what goes out there. Or why they stop maintaining this part, you know. Because obviously at one time they included it on their trails. Whoa. It's warm. It's quite warm out. <laughs> I wanted to show that, this little hidden trail. And it's pretty much right by a sign that points you towards uh, the Champion Chair Bark Oak. It's not, that oak tree ain't too far from this little trail. I think that oak tree's just right over here somewhere. Boy, I'd hate for that, that oak tree to freaking uproot from a storm look at that all them stones i'm sure dnr probably put them there but if not that could be like one of them old uh stone forts It'd be cool if it was 